Hey, what's up? This is Mia. Welcome to Cranberry Vintage. Today, we are going to finish our natural fence line by relocating some of our cup plants. So, let's begin. <music> Quite cloudy. I wouldn't even say dark and dreary, but today is a cloudy day, and I figured it would be a great time to come out here and relocate some of our cup plants over to the fence line. So when I'm referring to cup plants, I'm referring to these plants right here. I love these plants, but they grow everywhere and they'll sprout up. So we came up, me and my guy came up with the right idea on. that, you know what, we have a very short fence line that goes all the way to the back. Why not start taking some of the cup plants and putting them along the fence line so as they grow, they'll create a privacy fence until we can install a privacy fence. So these are beneficial plants to do things like that with because these plants alone, first of all, they spread every year you plant them they spread out but the beauty about them is they get about six to seven feet tall at least so and they get bushy if you have multiple ones by each other so they act like a natural barrier or a natural fence line during the spring and summer seasons and they last literally all the way until the end of fall so and they sprout yellow flowers and just a very pretty plant but a very tall plant that if you got some space it'll spread now the good thing is usually when you have them next to each other they will follow the path of least resistance and just go about their business however for the ones that sprouted out that i planted in different places when i really didn't know much about the cup plant we're about to take those, dig those up, and transplant them over here to the fence line. And we're gonna see how they do this season. So that's why I have you guys here, just so you can kind of go with me through the process. So let's get started. So, <clears throat> let me explain. That was so whack, wasn't it? <laughs> I know there was an abrupt switch from outside to inside, and um, I'm going to tell you why. So, towards the end of my video, I'm like dropping some hot fire to you guys, and I realized that my head is like gone on the video. So, I'm going to scoot over so you guys can see it. But my head is like gone look at that and i was like man i was dropping that hot fire and i'm headless I decided to delete that because by the time i realized that here we are in the house and it's dark outside so i decided to just go ahead and record it while we're in here with that said Everything turned out great. <laughs> Just take my word for it. We transplanted a few of the cup plants. I still have a lot to go. Um, we just have to, I'm gonna wait until tomorrow and work on it bit by bit. And the biggest focus is to 
not only make that natural fence line, but another good reason to move them is because give my plants in the boxes more room. Because right now I really don't know what's in there so I could fill it in with different plants because the cup plants have literally taken over. So it's hard for me to really see what I have in those boxes. So by pulling them out and putting them along the fence line, not only gives them another use and put them in another space that they can have on their own, but it will also allow me to see what's in that box and pull out weeds and not my plants like I did last year. Womp womp. Oh, with that said, you guys, that's what I accomplished for today. Thank you for tuning in on this check-in with me. Um, we still got some more to do. Whenever I work out in the yard, I'll just post a video and show you guys my progress because last year I showed you guys when it was pretty and nice. This year, you guys get to see it all gritty and dirty and gardeny and foresty looking. So if that's even a word, as we go along the prog process, you guys uh, will see how it turns out. And it I don't know, it creates more value for me to kind of start from scratch. So with that said, if you guys have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and like button. I would truly appreciate it. I mean, yeah, it's time for me to get on this website. Like I told you guys, I have been multitasking my foot off. So the website's coming soon. I told you guys it's there, but there's still some editing doing that needs to be done. And I pretty much do everything in-house. So bear with me, guys. I still got blog posts to make and everything. But thanks for sticking through with me. And subscribe and join the family if you have not already. Our goal is a 1,000. So help me. <laughs> with that said, let me get back to work and get to dinner and then all this good stuff. You guys have an awesome night and stay super tasked. Peace.